Hey guys, and welcome back to My Lilac Hill. Brittany here. Just wanted to take a minute while the baby is sleeping to hop on here and give you guys an update um, to what we've been doing the last few weeks, how the coronavirus is affecting us, and uh, just kind of a general update on what we plan to be doing here in the next couple of weeks. Uh, so first, the last few weeks uh, have been great. Uh, some of you already know this, but about seven weeks ago, I gave birth to our first child. So the last several weeks, we've just been getting used to being parents and getting into that routine uh, with our son. And I do, I do think we're in a pretty good routine now. We're getting the hang of things. Um, and so I just wanted to kind of hop on and give you guys an update. I know it's been a while since my last video. Um, and then with everything going on in the world, I thought it'd be a good time to kind of hop on and, and share how the coronavirus is affecting us. We do live outside of Kansas City, Missouri, and as of today, Tuesday the 23rd of March, we are on a mandatory stay-at-home order for the next 30 days. Um, didn't really affect me much just because I have been on maternity leave and I still have another five weeks of maternity leave. Um, so I've already been staying at home and with it being the flu season and my sister-in-law having given birth six weeks ahead of me, we were kind of already taking necessary precautions and not really getting out a whole lot anyways. So it didn't really affect us much. Um, but we are on a mandatory stay at home order now and it is putting Mike in a position where he is not working this week. He does construction, um, which is considered an essential job but we're waiting on a letter for his employer stating that he is an essential worker. Um, so hopefully he'll be back at work next week, but this week he's at home. And so we're just kind of making the best of it. We're not freaked out or panicked by any means. We're just trying to use this time together that we wouldn't have normally had to get a bunch of projects done that we've been wanting to get done, um, get the house straightened up and cleaned up and organized and then also just spending time together as a family um, and spending time bonding with our son. So are we worried about the coronavirus? Yes and no, not really. Um, I'm not worried about it affecting Mike or my own health, um, but we do worry about our son, obviously, uh, and we, we do like to take the necessary precautions to prevent anybody else that you know may be immunosuppressed or anything like that. Um, or the elderly, we, we don't want to contribute to anybody getting sick. So we are taking the necessary precautions. Um, but we were, like I said, we were kind of already doing that, having a newborn at home anyway. So it's not really affecting us a whole lot right now. Um, I am trying to pay attention to the media and seeing kind of what's going on out there, but I'm not, I'm not letting it scare me by any means. Um, you know, we, we've got everything we need, even with Mike not working right now, Money is not a problem right now. Now, if he continues to not be working, obviously that might start affecting us soon, um, but hopefully he'll be going back to work. I'm still bringing in an income, being on maternity leave, and I work from home anyways, so when I return to work, um, assuming the housing industry is still there, uh, I will have a job. So I'm not too concerned about that end of things. I also had already stocked up on um, diapers, wipes, and formula right when this first started happening just to make sure that we had what we needed to take care of our son. Um, so we're good there. Uh, we've got about six weeks worth of supplies for him before we would need to restock. And I went to the grocery store um, a couple weeks ago and just stocked up on what we needed um, to get through a few weeks. But I didn't, I didn't panic by we didn't hoard toilet paper or anything like that. Just bought what we needed um, to get through this time to be at home and to do our part in stopping the spread of the coronavirus. Um, and so with that being said, we do have some plans on some different projects that we want to get done uh, while we are in quarantine. And the biggest thing that I'm excited about is seed starting. Originally, I was not planning on starting my own seeds this year, primarily because I have a newborn at home and I just didn't want to add a whole lot onto my plate. I do work a full-time job when I return to work and with a newborn and a full-time job, I just didn't want to deal with it this year. But with the coronavirus, I thought to myself, 
might not be able to get out and go to a nursery and buy plants. So I went ahead and ordered a few seeds, just what I would be needing um, for my own raised beds and then what my mom and Mike's mom wanted for their gardens. So I will be starting some seeds. They should be arriving from Haas Tools um, tomorrow, I believe. So hopefully I'll be starting that and I can show you guys um, how I start my seeds. I'm doing a little bit of a different experiment this year um, just because I don't have the normal space that I would have um, to start seeds because we're renting this house right now while we save some money uh, to buy a house with some acreage. So our lease prevents us from having the garden that I would really like to have as well as having a greenhouse. So I'm gonna do something a little bit different but I think that it should work. I kind of got the idea from Jess at Roots and Refuge Farm. A couple years ago I saw a video of her doing this um, and so I'm gonna try it for myself and see if it works. So stay tuned for that video. Um, and then from there uh, we are finishing the build on our raised beds. We haven't quite got them finished yet so I can take you along for that as well. Um, and then we kind of started a side hustle business which not really a great time to start a side hustle business when there's a world um, pandemic happening, but that's what we did. Um, so I'll kind of take you along for some of the projects for that. Hopefully uh, once things kind of die down, we can really take off with that um, and that can help contribute to our homesteading abilities. Um, so with that, uh, you know, we've got a lot of exciting things going on getting the yard ready for planting. Um, I can plant a few flowers. We've got like a flower bed at the front of the house that we're allowed to plant in. Um, so I'm gonna plant a few flowers in that, get it all cleaned up. Um, I already took a couple of bushes out of it that were dead. Um, so I can, I can show you guys the progress on that, uh, which is really exciting, make the house look a little bit more colorful. Um, and then from there, I've got a laundry list of things that I would like to do. Um, starting with cleaning and organizing the house from top to bottom. We moved here in July and even though it is now the end of March, we still have boxes of things that I don't really even know what's in them anymore. Um, so I'd really like to get everything organized, put away, cleaned up, just do a really good spring cleaning since we've got more than enough time to get it done. Um, and then I've got several books that I'd like to read. Um, the one that I'm getting ready to start um, is Call of the Farm. And this is by Rochelle Billow. And it's just been on my list of books to read for a really long time. So I'm going to go ahead and, and get to reading it. And I will let you guys know what I think. Um, but I think that it's kind of fitting for what's going on right now anyways. So I just thought that that would be kind of like the perfect quarantine book to read. So I am going to do that um, and then I'm going to continue exercising. Those of you who have followed me on uh, my YouTube channel and on Instagram mainly, I post a lot more on Instagram than I do on YouTube, uh, but you know that I've been on a fitness journey for a few years now and my pregnancy kind of put a halt on that. Um, I wasn't as focused on you know, a rigorous diet and exercise routine while I was pregnant. I was focused on just having a healthy pregnancy, which I had a very healthy pregnancy, um, had a healthy baby when he was born. So that was my priority. And, you know, I, I gained 60 pounds during that pregnancy, which I was not happy about, but my baby was healthy. I had a great healthy pregnancy. So now what I need to do is, is just get back to the lifestyle that I was living before. Um, and I've already gone back to the doctor. I've been cleared for regular exercise um, and everything like that. So I'm going to be getting back into that and I'm going to be sharing that with you guys as well. Um, it, it's going to be a little bit different uh, just because it is postpartum and my body is still healing. So I'm just going to have to take it slow and um, just, just ease into it, I guess. So I'm going to be sharing that with you as well. Um, and then just kind of everything that we do with the raised beds and the garden um, and things like that and really excited about it and you know I hope that you guys out there are taking this seriously but not panicking about it I do think that we all need to do our part um, as much as we can stay away from the elderly the immunosuppressed 
stay out of public places as much as you possibly can um, and just let this die down. Hopefully the warm weather comes in um, and helps to kill off this virus. Hopefully we beat it here soon. Um, you know, stick with your families and your loved ones, check on them, make sure everybody's doing okay. Um, but mainly just do your part, stay home, chill out, be productive, learn a new skill, research. We've got the internet. I mean, this could be so much worse. We could not have the internet. We could not have social media to be able to FaceTime with our family. I mean, we can't be next to them, but we can FaceTime with them. So, I mean, this could be 10,000 times worse than it is, but take it seriously. Do your part, stay home so that this can all be done with. We can get back to um, some sort of a regular routine again, and hopefully the economy um, will bounce back quickly. I do feel for those of you who have lost your jobs and are really struggling right now, um, but we just all need to band together and help out our loved ones as much as we can, and hopefully this will all be over soon. Um, but anyways, stay safe, um, and hopefully none of you get the coronavirus. If you do, my thoughts are with you and your family, uh, and I wish everybody the best. Stay chill.